What we're going to be looking at today are the kinetic theory and pressure. In particular, we're going to introduce a brand new equation, which we have written over here, that PV is equal to one third multiplied by the total number of molecules and multiply the mass of a single molecule M and multiplied by the mean square speed. This equation makes physical sense and we can convince ourselves of, of that if we remember what actually causes pressure. Remember pressure is caused when one individual molecule makes a collision with the wall of a container and there is a change in momentum during that collision which is the change in the rate of change of momentum delta p over delta t. Please don't confuse uh, this so this is the change in momentum this is the change in momentum so uh, whereas P in the other equation stands for pressure okay well this equation as we said makes total physical sense the reason for that is if we imagine that let's say the volume is constant we can see over here for example that our gas is in a fixed container if we were to increase the number of molecules so if we were to add in quite a lot more they're all going to have random speeds and they're all going to collide with the walls of the container that will increase the pressure if we were to increase the mass of each of those individual molecules well they're going to have a great momentum so they're going to impact the walls with a greater force so the pressure will also increase if we were to increase their speed, perhaps we could heat them up, for example. And um, if we were to do that, the pressure will once again increase. So this equation makes uh, total physical sense, which is always very useful to think about when we're looking at new equations in physics. There's another way that we can actually write down this equation, and that is if we think about the density. Now we know that the density of a gas is equal to mass over volume. Now the total mass of the gas is going to equal the is going to be equal to the number of molecules multiplied by the mass of an individual molecule. And then what we're going to do is divide by the total volume. Now what I'm going to do is just rearrange for V. So V is going to equal N times M divided by the density. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just substitute this back into the original equation. So what I'm going to get is that P and rather than V, I'm going to write N M and then I'm going to divide by the density. Please don't confuse this uh, row symbol, which, will look, which looks kind of like a curly P with P standing for pressure, is going to equal one third N multiplied by M, and then we've got the C squared term over here. Okay, now we can do quite a lot of cancellations, so uh, N and M, they can go. It can be cancelled and we can just rearrange for the pressure so we see that pressure is going to equal one third multiplied by the density multiplied by the mean square speed so those are two very very useful way ways of writing this same relationship in physics Hey guys, now let's just use this equation that we introduced. I'm just going to rewrite it once again over here that PV is equal to one third times the number of particles times the mass of an individual particle times the mean square speed at which those particles are moving. This equation is remarkably similar to PV is equal to nRT and PV is equal to n. Kt. If you're feeling a little bit rusty with PV is equal to NKT, um, have a look through the channel and I made a pretty detailed video on the ideal gas law equation. So um, the obvious thing that we can do with those two equations is set them equal because if PV is equal to one third nmc squared that means that this also has got to equal NKT. So in other words 
we can combine those two equations. We can say that one third nm times the mean square speed is going to equal to nkt. And we can see that we can do a little bit of cancellation. So n, for example, can go. And what we will be left with over here, let's bring the third onto the other side as well. The mc squared is going to equal 3kt. Now, I'm just going to use a little mathematical trick and I'm going to divide both sides by, divide both sides by, by 2. And uh, because whatever we do on the left hand side of the equation, if we do the same thing to the right hand side of the equation, uh, the equation still holds. So what I'm going to get is a half m times the mean square speed is going to equal 3 halves kt. And uh, this is actually the equation which links directly temperature to the mean square speed. And we've managed to derive this relationship from some of the basic equations of kinetic theory. Okay guys, so hopefully this video makes sense. If there are any questions about this derivation, please feel free to drop a comment down below or, um, or drop me an email and please consider subscribing.